Hi there, Anthony Sequera here with StormWindLive.com. I've got to tell you how incredibly honored and flattered I was when Narbic, founder of Micronics Training, reached out to me and said, Anthony, I want no one but you to lead our video on demands for CCIE training here at Micronics. Narbic and I will carefully design these video on demands regarding key CCIE subjects and I'll be the primary instructor delivering these. Yes, there'll be guest appearances by Narbic himself and other trainers with Micronics training, but I will be your primary instructor for these incredibly detailed and intense and fun video on demands regarding CCIE training topics. Thanks so much for joining us and let's go ahead and get started with our first video. In this video, we're going to take a look at BPDU filter, an often misunderstood tool that Cisco provides us in what they call the spanning tree protocol toolkit. Let's go ahead and take a look at this feature in great detail. One of the reasons why this feature is so confusing is that it can be configured under global configuration mode or interface configuration mode. And depending on how you configure it, you're going to get slightly different results. This particular feature can indeed, if configured under the interface level, cause a switch to ignore BPDUs that are received and as a result, you could get a layer 2 loop. So we want to be very, very careful with this feature. Let's begin our exploration of the feature by looking at the most dangerous particular mode and that would be the interface level configuration. Notice the command is simple, spanning hyphen tree, BPDU filter enable. This prevents the interface from sending or receiving BPDUs. Notice, if we are preventing the interface from receiving the BPDUs, we're essentially disabling spanning tree protocol on that particular port. Thus, we have something that is quite dangerous indeed. To completely explore this feature, we don't need any complex topology. We need a simple switch and we need a simple router, for example. What we are going to do is utilize a bridge group on the router when we want to send BPDUs at the switch. Let's get to the command line and take a look at this particular configuration. So I'm going to go to the switch and on this switch, we're going to say show spanning tree interface fast ethernet zero slash one detail. This is the interface that leads out to that router. Notice we are indeed sending BPDUs and we are not receiving any BPDUs because it's a router out there. Okay, so let's go out to the router. And let's go ahead and go and create bridging on this router. We'll say bridge uh, one protocol IEEE. We'll go under the fast ethernet zero slash zero interface and we'll say bridge group one. Now the router is participating in bridging under that interface and should be sending BPDUs over to our switch. Let's check. We'll rerun our show spanning tree interface detail command. And yes, we are now not only sending BPDUs, but we are also receiving BPDUs. Now the dangerous command interface fast ethernet zero slash one and we issue spanning tree BPDU filter enable. Now we had received uh, 11 BPDUs here earlier and sent 361 
Let's end our configuration, rerun our show command, and you can see we're at 362.25, and we are going to stay right there. We are no longer sending or receiving BPDUs in our environment. Once again, this is our bridge protocol data unit filtering feature configured under the interface. And as we could see in our demonstration, preventing the sending and receiving of these BPDUs. But what about this particular feature when configured globally? How does that work? Well, that's what we're going to see next. BPDU filtering at the global configuration level is used in conjunction with PortFast. We globally enable the feature with spanning hyphen tree PortFast BPDU filter default. Then we globally enable PortFast with spanning hyphen tree PortFast default. What happens now is the BPDU filter feature prevents interfaces in that port fast operational state from sending BPDUs. Please realize that in actual production here, we're going to see a couple of initial BPDU frames sent when the link comes up, but then the rest are silenced. Now here's the interesting thing about BPDU filter in global configuration mode. If we receive a BPDU on one of these port fast interfaces, two things occur. The interface will dynamically lose its port fast operational state, and the filtering of outgoing BPDUs is going to be disabled. Now, I know what you're thinking. You want proof at the command line, and you know what? So do I. Let's go out to the command line. Notice I have defaulted switch one back to totally normal behavior. Nothing configured under its fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. You can see we are sending BPDUs, and I defaulted R1 just to the role of a regular router. So it is not sending any BPDUs. That's why we haven't received any. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go into global configuration mode and do our BPDU filter. We go, look at this, spanning tree port fast BPDU filter. Again, this is a port fast combined feature now at the global level. And then we say spanning tree port fast default in order to do that globally. Now, we can confirm this, by the way, by doing our show spanning tree summary. An excellent confirmation command for this config. We can see that BPDU filtering is enabled by default globally, and we can see that port fast is indeed globally enabled. Now, something else that we would want to do here is our show spanning tree for the interface that we are going to play with. We'll do our show spanning tree and we'll do port fast. And look at this, sure enough, that access port that we're utilizing is indeed port fast enabled. Now, let's have some fun. We're going to go to the router and we are going to start sending BPDUs at this port fast interface. Remember how we can do this like uh, we did earlier? We'll just say, uh, we'll turn on bridging. So we say bridge one, protocol IEEE, We'll go under the appropriate interface and we'll say bridge group one. Couldn't be easier. Now, over on switch one, we wait. Yeah, there is going to be a little convergence time for this change to take place. And what is it exactly that we would want to check first? Well, did the port fast port lose its port fast operational state dynamically? thanks to the BPDUs showing up. As a matter of fact, do, are we even recognizing BPDUs showing up? Well, let's check. 
aha, we are indeed recognizing the BPDUs that are now showing up. Did we lose our port fast status dynamically? We did.